Hello and welcome to Divine Conquer Overhaul version 7 Talios Bridge Faction or you of Isengard. Can we say the armor faction? I think we can. Isengard very much an armor faction, because that's it all it is. It's a one-trick pony. Armor. The Orphank is uh, giving you six free upkeep, which is pretty good, but again still it gives you seven, so eh. But the Orphank Stone. 4k gold? The second of the highest talent here and second guy second highest non-special income. The biggest one being of course the mirror of Galadriel. But there's also the centers of evil that Mordor and Dol Guldur and Angmar get. Mordor of course gets the Barador and Minas Morgul. Dol Guldur gets Dol Guldur and uh, Angmar gets its capital, which I forget. I keep forgetting its name. Karas, no. I'm, I'm sorry, I've got the name. It's been a kind of like a long time before I uh, played in, in Eriador. Okay, so, Isengard. What we got? First of all, the landmark. The Orphan will give you. Well, it has some training, but will give you the Naskai once you get the ring. But now, other landmarks will also give you the Naskai. That is Edoras. Minas Tirith, Barad-dûr, and Minas Morgul will also give you the Nazkai. Because, you know, why not? Use them more to conquer the world. They're also kind of your, your legendary unit, so there is that. Your economy, the wood uh, camp is now available everywhere. Let me see where is the wood camp. Um, there you go. Wood camp is now available everywhere and will give you 1000 gold at the beginning. Then 1500 and then again 1000. Why cheaper? I don't know. I kind of felt like it. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Um, a 500 gold loss is not important considering the fact you get them everywhere. I think everywhere that has uh, wood, uh, forest in it will now be everywhere where there is a forest, not just this part. So that's pretty good. It should be like that. Uh, then for your massive, uh, you know, the industry tradable resources is timber, obviously, then iron, which is good, because I think you have iron here, right? Or maybe not. Now we have gold. Oh, that is iron. But, oh, Isengard is a citadel, doesn't give you money. That's unfortunate. And amber. Amber, I think, is the village. So, yeah, you, those are your ma massive tradable resources. Timber should be easy, because look, look at the forests. You should get a lot of money from your cities. Um, no unique bodyguards. I mean, that, let's go look at the the real change of Isengard, the units. And here we are with the unit overview for Isengard. First and foremost, we have the uh, Urukai Raiders with nine attack, five charge, which is okay, and total defense of eighteen with fourteen armor. Ooh, that's amazing for militia. Two defense kill and two shield. There's 200 of them, that is just downright amazing. I love that. I mean, yeah, armor, 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 armor. They have a cost of 1950 and upkeep of 910. They're just amazing. I think these are just good to almost late game. They're just so good. Get them. Urukai archers, pretty good archer, actually. Five uh, melee attack, eight missile attack, and three charge, and total defense, of course, of 15 with 14 armor and one defense kill. That's a pretty good archer. Interestingly enough, it's a good archer, but only has a range of 170, which is weak. Cost of 1925 and upkeep of 905. Then we have is the Orphang Sentries. You're decent, and I do say decent crossbow unit with 11 melee attack, 10 missile attack, effective against armor, and total defense of 5. Sorry, charge bonus of 5. Total defense of 19 with 13 armor, 4 defense skill, and 2 shield. Not bad. At all. Let me see where they are, uh, where the orphan sentry is. I think it's down, way down the list. Yes, it is. At a cost of 2,420 and upkeep of 1,190. A little bit higher cost, but yeah, crossbowman, I get it. And of course, Uruk Reavers with 7 attack, 7 charge, effective against armor. Okay, that's that's okay. And total defense of 15 with 13 armor and 2 defense skill. That's amazing. 
<laughs> that's amazing. You're just, you can't complain with that high armor this early into the game. You just can't complain. Makes them, uh, makes the Isengard faction just downright insane. And it does. Let me just um, find them. There we go. They have a cost of 2,025 and upkeep of 920. And uh, we have the Warg Marauders, which we've looked at a Dogul Door video. So nothing special. Honestly. Uh, I mean, guess for Cav, which is your only Cav, is fine. Then we come look at your kind of middle tier unit with these Orc uh, Spear Guard, which are a little bit weird, as you will notice. Uh, 14 attack, free charge, pretty good. Total defense of 28, which is great, but only 14 armor. Not much progression at all in the armor department, but 10 defense kill. That's amazing for a for Isengard and for shield that this is what makes them different from your Urukai the Orcmen have actual defense skill which means they're a little bit more capable against armor piercing just a little bit cap more capable don't you know don't uh, worry they're not that capable 10 defense skill is nothing but hey it's there it's something so yeah you can see that it's something let me just find them Urukai Archers, uh, Bane Guard, Spear, Spearman, there we go, there he is. Uh, they have a cost of 2540 uh, and upkeep of 1205. Then, the Bane Guard, with 12 attack, 4 charge, and effective against armor. Now that's good. And of course, total defense of 24, with 14 armor and 10 defense skill. Uh, the Bane Guard has a cost of uh, 2540 and upkeep of uh, 1205, so same upkeep, which is good. But then we come to your Berserkers, who have no armor whatsoever, because they don't. But they have 11 attack, 12 charge, effective against armor, awesome. Frightens nearby infantry, okay. And uh, Reliable and Snow, which is eh, fine. But uh, here's a special thing, they have no armor. But 17 defense skill is insane. So, you can argue this is your answer to armor piercing. And it's a very good answer, because they, have the, they themselves have armor piercing. They have a cost of uh, 2600 and upkeep of 800. But then we come to your elites, or semi elites, which is your best, downright best uh, army, and you should have 50 million of them, basically. Always have them, always. Urukai infantry, 19 attack, insanely good. 5 charge, mm, bad. Total defense of 36 with 26 armor. You're now rivaling the Dunedain. 6 defense skill and 4 shield. So why so much armor? Well, the logic is Saruman. He is a god, basically. Or a demigod. So, he knows how to make armor. He knows, uh, he knows the tips and tricks on how to basically make very sturdy armor. Um, not rivaling the elves, of course. Nothing can rival the Noldor or the dwarves. But, reliable enough armor that it almost rivals It rivals the Dunedain. They have a cost of 3,125 and upkeep of 1,465. So very, very expensive. But, 200 of them, it's insane. Rook Pikeman, your answer to any cavalry charge. It's an amazing answer. 15 attack, which is awesome. 1 charge, eh. Total defense of 29, with 26 armor and 3 defense kill. Of course, it's the same. All of these have the same armor. Sorry. All of these have the same armor. 26. Which is, again, awesome. They have a cost of 3100 and upkeep of 1470. Then, to your best, well, second best, but, you know, Saruman. This is your best crossbow unit. A 10 melee attack, 13 missile attack, and 4 charge. Effective against armor, of course. And total defense, as I said... Uh, 29 with 26 armor and 3 defense kill. Amazing. Just you, you know, they're, they're amazing just because they have 26 armor. They're amazing. They have a cost of 30, uh, 350, and upkeep of 1460. And of course, trolls. We talked about them. And next one we have is your elites mixed with bodyguard mixed with Saruman unit. So first, let's look at your bodyguard. Urukai bodyguards, 19 attack, 5 charge, and total defense of 35, with 26 armor, 5 defense skill, and 4 shield. Amazing. 
just downright amazing bodyguard. 26 armor this early is insane. They have a cost of 3200 and upkeep of 1370. So yeah, they rival the cost of your elites, but they're just amazing. They're just insanely amazing. But then we come to Orphan Guard, the wildmen protecting your nation, uh, protecting your tower, but their wildmen clouded with Isengard armor, so that's amazing. 70 attack, 4 charge, and 12 defense of 40. With 26 attack, 8 defense kill, and, and 6 shield. Um, yeah, they are, they are the wall. Nothing will pierce the wall. Except I'm a piercing. <laughs> they will pierce the wall. They have a cost of 3115 and upkeep of 1450. Then is the Nazkai, your elites. Elites, definitely elites. Le sorry, legendary unit even. 18 attack, 22 missile, inspires nearby troops, kill against mounts, effect against armor, and all that. And frightens nearby infantry. Total defense of 35. Again, 26 armor and 9 defense kill. They are insane. Just insane. Get them when you can. Worth it. They have a cost of 4100 and upkeep of 1500. Just amazingly worth it. And finally, Guard of the Hand, your best range infantry, and the reason why Saruman is insane because they have 10 mil attack, 15 missile attack, and 5 charge, with total defense of 42, with 26 armor, 9 defense kill, and 7 shield. Downright insane, if you ask me. And of course, they actually have a, they have a cost. 3200 and upkeep of 1100. So, Isengard is easy, downright insanely easy. Your armies are so armored, it's insane. But, Rohan does have some armor piercing answers, especially cavalry. And a cavalry charging at you, which has armor piercing values, is uh, dangerous. So, be careful about that. Your pikemen are insane. Uh, your pikemen will be the answer to any cav, especially maybe the elves and Rocha and Dogold, uh, sorry, Dolamrov, and maybe Dogoldor, because uh, any cav that has uber heavy armor will be a problem. But you know, 15 attack, it will deal with most cav, no problem. And that's about it, you know. Isengard, armor, armor, armor. That's your calling card, armor. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, or comment. I greatly appreciate the support. Goodbye.